here. Now, put this, just hold it, it's running, right? Hold it, don't, me, don't touch anything. Yesterday, I was here at DragCon, and this gentleman, I can't say the name, <laughs> Scott Clark Studio. He's probably, he's probably as tired, probably as tired as I am. Because I'm, I was walking, I was manic yesterday, and I came and I picked up this coloring book, and I looked, I looked inside, and I think I saw one thing, you know. And so I'm just going to give a peek. This is one of. Now tell me the talent. I want you to take what you want to show. Come over here. I'll take it. I'll take it over from here. Take it off your hand. Okay. Now you're Scott Clark. Yes. And you are absolutely one of the greatest artistic geniuses I've ever met. And Andy Warhol, Warhol who was a creep, shot to my shop. And I'm sure that you're not as rich as him because you're obviously a much more conscientious and decent person than, Don, yes. than he ever had. So show me a couple pictures out of, of some of your stuff and explain what you do. Um, I basically do illustration and verse. I write poetry that goes along with with the artwork, some of it's okay, humorous. Well, let's see, Humpty Dumpty wants a big wall, Humpty Dumpty has lots of gall. And all of hum Trump's money, and all of Trump's men... Couldn't get couldn't, Trumpty. Couldn't get Trumpty some good common sense. <laughs> Pick one or two that you think are very good in there, and let's go on to, you know, some... Oh, that, make America great again. Oh my! Look, 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 look. <laughs> I don't want to get anything. Oh my God, the great Trumpkin. Trick or treat, trick, trick or cheat. <laughs> so we have an idea, we have one last one here. You're a mean one, Mr. Trump, you really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus, you're as charming as an eel. Mr. Trump, you're a bad banana with a greasy black peel. Oh, greasy black peel, oh. Brilliant, brilliant poet as well as artist. Thank you, thank you. Now let's say, show me some other stuff that well, I... A lot of a lot of people do drawings, and I just wanted to do something different, so I did drawings with with poetry. So, so tell me something else that you think people. And I also do coloring books. This one's about Barbara Streisand. Okay, read read one or two that you think are great. Um, remember that moment in that classic film when she descended those stairs? It was a classic thrill. Um, Barbara and Jim. Beyond the drama of a Hollywood scene, just two people in love in a world evergreen. Okay, and, and we have a lot to cover here. You want to get? Tell me about. And some of these are just coloring books. Oh, okay. Where you can color the art yourself. This is oh, wow! So you can make them look. Oh, and these are coloring books of one artist. These are yeah. This one's of Barbara Streisand. Oh, wow! So you can make Barbara Streisand as ugly or as beautiful as you want, huh? Exactly. <laughs> I wonder about some people buying one because they have a Barbara Streisand crazy nut living with them and they can't stand her, so they get one yes. of those coloring books and do a monster Absolutely. job on them. <laughs> so what else? What are the other things you have? Um, we have these Chair lapel, lapel pins. Yeah? Show me which ones are the best. Oh, this yeah? one is the best one that everybody loves. Cher, Icon. And how much is that? Ten dollars. And so it has a, a back of some sort? Yeah, it has a double clasp Why on the don't back. you show that? Because I didn't know what you meant when you told me that. Oh, okay. Because I always have trouble with getting pins on myself. There you go. Oh, okay. And that's only ten dollars? Yep. Okay. The share stuff is the best. Everybody loves the share stuff. Everybody okay. wants to share. And are these cards? These are greeting cards. Of Just all sorts? Are they for all Christmas sorts. or anything? All sorts. I have greeting cards for all occasions. Wow. Are these on your website? Yes. You oh. can get these at my website. Just email me if you want something specific. The books you can get on Barnes & Noble website or Amazon. And um, the pins you can order on my Etsy store, which is on my website. All the information is on my website. And what? What? Show me a couple other things, and we'll. These know, are, these are frameable prints. Oh these are wow! Just, 
And how much are these? These are ten dollars. Let me get a good picture of it. Ten dollars. Model, singer, author, actor, working the runway, love, light, and laughter, the queen of drag race and king of design. A true inspiration who won't be outshined. The voice of for equality speaks to his art, inclusive his range, and this superstar's art, RuPaul. And how much is that? Ten dollars. I want that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so thank you very much. I think we've done a decent interview today. Thank you. And uh, I can't tell you how amazed I bought four, three or four of your books yesterday. And I, if I looked there to read even one more page of the Trump book, I wouldn't have gotten to sleep last night. I'd still be laughing so hard at midnight. Thank you. You are a great genius, and I really wish you well. Thank you. And your website is Scott Clark. Uh, ScottClarkStudio.com. Great. This is my daughter, the little helper. Oh, you're the little helper. Oh, wonderful. Is she, are you going to college? Yep. I go to Towson University. Going where? Towson. Oh, great. Maryland. Scholarship student? Mm -hmm. Are you a scholarship student? No, I'm a, I transferred. Are you transferred? Are you are you a, a, in the art? What are you majoring? Like psychology. Psychology? Mm -hmm. Oh, I majored in psychology. It was a bummer. What year are you in? I'm between junior and senior. Year, so. I decided psychology was all a scam. I monitored sociology. The trouble is that when you graduate with a degree in psychology, if you have a big debt, there's nothing you're really trained to do. STEM, science, technology, engineering, or math. I wouldn't have thought of taking a business course, but believe me, take some sort of an accounting elective. Because if you end up inheriting this business, or even starting your own, or even starting your own, you're gonna have to know math. And I tell you, I'm sure you learned the hard way. When I opened a business, I didn't know the difference between a debit and a credit. Did you? Never had any training, right? You had to learn everything the hard way. Incorporation and all that stuff. Well, thank you so much. I can't tell you. Why don't you do, do, do me a favor? I have a special request for you. I want you to do a one of these of yourself because I want to buy one next time I see you. I will. Please. And I would do one of you, you and your daughter. Thank you. Thank you.